Hello, this is Wampire. Today I want to talk about the triangle angles of attack. So in a lot of Filipino martial arts uh, systems, they may talk about the triangle. And the way they normally teach it is this, this triangle is the angles of attack and the center of the, the triangle, the point, and then right here broken in half, the bottom side is aligned to your center line, okay? So you're, you're facing like this, and you're going to be doing a triangle angles of attack like so. I mean, it's going to be a lot bigger, but you see the point will be centered, okay? And um, the bottom side will be equally divided into left and right equal lengths. Um, all right, so if you're going to do it like that, when I come here with a diagonal slash, okay, and then the next one they teach is a horizontal slash, Right, and then I'm supposed to do another diagonal, and that completes the the triangle. Right, right here. I'm finding that my own head is in the way, so I, I want to clear it to do this diagonal. But then I'm I'm it's awkward. I'm losing time. Okay, so I'm personally finding it a lot better for me if I just go. Diagonal, and then diagonal, and then do the horizontal, rather than diagonal, horizontal, and then this diagonal right here, okay? Um, I'm not quite meeting, it's more awkward to, to meet that triangle shape, but if I go one, two, it's not a problem, and then horizontal right here to finish the bottom part of the triangle. Uh, that works better, especially when, you, when you're really swinging it with combat force. Just works way smoother for me. The other one, the other option, is to go, you're going diagonal here, and then you go horizontal, just, just like the way they, they teach it. I like to just go diagonal back up. So here, here's my diagonal line this way, um, rather than trying to go from top to bottom. Okay, um, I got no problem here. Okay. So one, two, three, okay? So that's just me. I feel like that flows much better. Um, and in it, what I recommend to you guys, right, is let's do, when, when you're doing this diagonal right here, let's park the fist. So this part of your hand, gets parked onto, it could be your hip, it could be your thigh, it could be your arm, it could be your shoulder, it could be your chest, but the main thing is, boom, I want to park that. The old me, I used to park it by sliding it, sliding it like this. The other thing was to, to do this, you see, is to stop it right here. You could, you could see there's some recoil that could be dangerous to me. You know, so I don't like that. And the other thing is, if I slide it, well, if this is a double-edged blade, then there goes my arm. Or if this is one of those that has a saw back, you know, or even a switch, it just, it may not be very comfortable. So, um, yeah, you might even be able to do some damage even with a, a false edge, a switch, right? So why risk that? Just park, park, park. So swing and get in the habit of parking. So, that, so that's uh, one evolution that, that I've contributed over the years. The other one is to put in um, context, okay? So if, if I'm doing it square like this, like the way they teach it, then I already know this is medium range, okay? Medium range, possibly going into close range because that is the nature of medium range. So right here, Okay, I'm duking it out with the other person. There's a great big chance that I'm going to end up in a grappling type situation. So, you know, grapplers have this kind of stance. Amateur wrestlers, sumo wrestlers, you know, they, they're going to have this kind of stance solid facing here, you know, so that, so that you're nice and strong. So it just makes sense to be more squared up that way if you're going to be in closer range. And also, even if you're going to be hitting, you're going to be hitting with power, you're going to want to be in a solid stance like that.
Okay. Um, so the next one is, I, I also would like for you guys to practice it here, bladed. So when we're talking bladed now, this is more, we have some distance. This might be long range going into medium range, but definitely more distance. So then mobility is a factor. So I, I want to be able to be mobile, right? So I'm bladed rather than right here, committed, right? So right here from this stance, we're going to do the same thing. One, two, and then when I go to do number three, this diagonal, one, once again, it's just I have to tilt to make that adjustment to, to make that triangle. So I'm going to change the shape of the triangle. And rather than doing this kind of triangle, it's more like this. This is closer to what I'm doing. So it's going to go one, two, and here. One, two, here. You see that? So I'm not worried about making the angles left side and right side the same. This one's more here. Okay. So more here. This first one can go, boom, this very uh, tilted diagonal. Here's my horizontal, and then here's closer to straight. This is my next evolution that, um, the next evolution. So first evolution, parking. Second evolution is the four ranges of combat. So this is my third evolution. Third evolution is here, coming straight down, knowing that there's a right side and a left side, and this is because I'm playing now with angles rather than being completely straight. When you're playing with angles, it becomes important here. You see, this is all on the left side. I can cross over to the right, and now I have this side coming from everything from here. So there's a complete separation. In the angles of a lot, uh, of attack that's commonly taught. A lot of times they don't make that separation. And for me, um, you know, o over the years of training, that was a key to the puzzle. And that came from this form that I just developed logically. There's nothing special about it, but the square two, three, four, one. So that's a top horizontal, vertical down, which is on the left side, across sideways and then vertical up on the right side. Of course, I could change directions here, here. So I'm coming straight down across on the bottom line, top, side, and back down. So you're just making a square. And once again, the benefit of that angles of attack form is that it teaches a clear cut left and right. As far as the horizontal top and the bottom, um, yeah, some styles, do not really teach that, but I mean, if you're slashing here, it's kind of obvious that you could also slash up here. And maybe it was so obvious that they took it out. But yeah, the, the left and right was a, was a big key to the puzzle for me. So that's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care, folks.